Yes, you are live! Exclamation point. Thank you, StreamYard. Hey guys, what's going on out there this morning? Brent Abel here, webtennis.com, with another episode of What's the Right Shot? And uh, I'm just solo today. Jeff is uh, in the car. Parts unknown. Working his way either. I think he got in here to the desert yesterday afternoon, last night. He's staying over in Indian Wells for the Wilson uh tournament this week anyway i'm sure he'll be back on the next day or so anyway hope you guys are having a great start to your day wherever you are and uh yeah uh yesterday yesterday the great larry turville with that top spin forehand the simple super easy to copy and model top spin forehand and today we're going to do the same with uh the lefty mark vines and uh, we're just going to look at a a top spin backhand drive um, that is like, I just, I think if you're looking for a player to copy and model and someone's telling you, well, here's what Rafa does. Here's what you should do. I just don't think that's the way to go for the rest of us. You know, maybe if you're a young buck of 14 years old and I don't know, even then, even then, it just doesn't seem like it's repeatable for most of us. Um, hey, Rich. Thanks for checking in at the airport, heading down to the desert. Yeah, cool, man. We'll see you. We'll see you this weekend, I'm sure. So my point is, is that if you're going to copy and model somebody, and we should, we should be looking at, uh, I, I think we should be looking at, you know, these masters players, the guys who are, um, <laughs> the guys who are winning all the time, right? And I think what you'll find in just about every, every age group, is that the guys who are winning a lot have got such simple, clean stroke technique that um, it's it's just repeatable. And, and that's one of the reasons these guys win a lot is because there's not a lot of complicated stuff going on. So with that said, um, let's get right to it. And um, look, we're going to look at Mark Vines. And just a little heads up before we get into his stuff today on this backhand. Um you know, Mark runs the Senior Excellence Tennis Camps in Naples, Florida. And uh, I, I've known several guys who've gone there and they just say, look, this thing is outstanding. It's the real deal. It's no fluff. It's no, it's no hypey stuff. It's, um, it's stroke technique, swing tech, it's tactics. It's all that good stuff that actually wins. What a concept. <laughs> As opposed to, let's just try to look like someone else. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I've got, um, I've got, uh, I'm a little distracted here. I've got a few messages coming in. Um, it, it, uh, in, in, bleh, in the description area, I've got Mark's email address. If you want to, uh, find out when the next upcoming camp is it's in Naples, Florida, when it is, where the details are and where you can get signed up. So I just want to pick apart this, um, I want to pick apart this. Well, before we pick a part, let's quick reminder every morning, new live shot, live episode of What's the Right Shot? Tennis mindset training every afternoon uh, at 2.30 p.m. Pacific. Look, um, and, you know, Mark's a lefty, as you guys all know. And I've got after this video, I've got a righty version. I flipped it around so that for the most of us who are right handed players, we can see what this looks like um, in the right handed version. But. When I talk about simple and clean, I want you to be thinking about ready position, which is, you know, you just don't need your arms stretched out in front of you to be ready. I, I know that, you know, Jeff and I both kind of teach more of a framework that the ready position is um, where the elbows are bent and, and maybe the racket's a little bit further away, but you got to find what's comfortable for you. You got to feel, find out what's natural for you in terms of not knowing, are you getting a forehand or backhand? And, uh, and then being able to turn the entire package into a really early, uh, clean racket prep setup position. Nothing fancy, nothing goofy. The grip here is, look, I mean, it's, it's pretty Eastern backhand. Maybe a little hybrid-ish from uh, a hybrid, meaning that it's, you know, partial continental, partial eastern backhand. But there's not a fluff here. There's not a lot of fluff going on in terms of delivering the racket with a flat racket face, right? And then the thing I want you to be thinking about with your topspin 
backhand drive is to think about at contact here rather than thinking, well, I've got to, I got to do something goofy with the wrist to flip the racket over. In this case, it would be to Mark's left um, to get the top spin. Is think about driving your racket and the string bed forward out towards your target. And look, I mean, this racket face actually at the finish, this is a slight low to high, but what happens here? I mean, the ball has upspin, it's got roll, but if you look at the racket face coming through, it's open. Do you, So do you have to have this massively closed racket face to be able to drive a, let's call it a semi-topper backhand drive? You don't, right? The key here is driving out through your target and being comfortable thinking that all you got to do is let the ball compress on the strings. Let the ball come in. Let it dwell as you go out through um, contact. I, you know, I can't remember who told me back in the day when I was a kid. Hey, think about you're going through one ball, two balls, three balls, four balls, whatever it is, right? And they're all lined up to go back over a spot above the top of the net. And, and when you do that, I think what you're find what you'll find is you is you just naturally take the baseline over there out of it. I think one of the reasons we get a little goofy here in terms of trying to flip the wrist to get extra top is we're concerned about that baseline over there, right? We're concerned about hitting it out. So we think, well, we got to add, we got to artificially add some extra top, and it just if it goes over, it ends up short. This ball is not going to be short. It's going to be safely above the top of the net, well inside the baseline, but nasty. And this is just so repeatable for Mark. So here's, here's what it looks like from behind. Again, it starts up, but it comes down. And one thing I want you to look at here is that we're talking about a swing path that goes forward, right? Doesn't go from, in Mark's case, from right to left. I mean, eventually it ends up over slightly to his left. But the way that you, or the way you can help yourself to keep that swing path going forward is stay sideways, right? I mean, he actually, because this ball is a little bit close on him, a little bit in here close, what does he do with his back foot? He actually takes the back foot and slides it behind him so it helps him keep that swing path aligned going forward, right? And this is just, hello, and... So let's look at the righty version of it, right? And boy, wouldn't you love to do that? Well, I don't know why you can't because it's really, it's really simple. There's not a lot of goofy mechanics here and anyone can do this, right? Anyone can turn the shoulder. Anyone can prep the racket. Anyone can get, you know, let's try a little bit of a hybrid -y grip on it so that hybrid -y meeting in between continental and Eastern backhand and present the ball with a flat racket face and then just stay turned and finish forward. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> this could not be, this could not be easier. So guys, yeah, just look, if you want to get together with Mark and uh, uh, his set camps, S E T uh, camp, camps in Naples, Florida, um, I highly encourage you to uh, take advantage of, uh, of just at least reaching out to Mark. His email is down below in the description area. Just reach out to Mark, shoot him an email, ask him, you know, when are the next dates you've got for a set camp? Ask him what the details are, what the price is, all that kind of stuff, what you're going to get out of it, and um, and get signed up. I, I I know that there's just so much good feedback. They've got a Facebook page as well, um, which you can you can search for and find maybe get some more information over there, but I go straight to the horse's mouth and just ask Mark directly. Hey man, what do you got? When's the next one coming up? And so there you have it. Look, um, I'm doing a couple of new things at the YouTube channel. I got two new playlists. One of them is three steps for fill in the blank. And this one's a top spin serve, but it's going to be under 60 seconds, right? We're not going to go into a long course, just three cues, Q U E. Uh, on swing tech in under 60 seconds. I'm not saying you got to in incorporate all three at the same time, but why not watch one of these videos, pick out one of the cues, go out in the court and work on it. And let's see. Uh, and let's see what, let's see what happens. And the other one is that 
Um, I'm also cherry picking a point. Most recently one is from this year's Australian Open. Yannick Sinner with a forehand. And I'm not saying that we can copy what these guys do. Most of it we can't. I mean, we certainly can't in terms of ball speed and that kind of stuff and court coverage. But there's always one thing that we can that we can cherry pick and kind of work on. And uh, in this particular one, it was taking this forehand that he's hitting and just get around the outside area of the ball to contain it. We can all do that, right? We can all make contact around the corner and get a really high quality spin. So take a look at that playlist as well. Just quick reminder, every morning, 8 a.m. Pacific, a new episode of What's the Right Shot in the afternoons daily, 2.30 p.m. Pacific Mindset Training. Look, if you love this stuff, click that like uh, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get alerted every time uh, I go live and or update new new uh, content. Look, guys, um, if you're new to Web Tennis, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I've got a free course I want to give to you. It's private, but it's free. It's about a 20-minute long uh, video course, and it details what I do between points. It's a four-step-by-step, very specific system, routine, that really helps me do a couple things. Number one... If you think about the between points time and the side changes, that's 80% of the match. <laughs> we only, we know when we're playing a match, 20% is the only time that we're actually playing points. So when you manage that 80% and when you, when you actually practice this routine, good stuff happens. You end up playing at the very top of your skill level range, whatever that is right now, on a much more consistent basis so that you build a deeper sense of confidence uh, as you start the point, right? You get really great clarity as, as to how to start the next point, and that clarity has a way of working over into the point itself in terms of shot choice clarity. Guys, that is it for me today. hope this has been helpful. I uh, would love to get your feedback on what you think about Mark's uh, semi-topper backhand drive. Uh, right down below in the comments area, let me know, or you can shoot me an email, as always, brent at webtennis.com. Guys, that's it. Let's get out there today. Let's help someone else have a great day. Uh, th the Wilson tournament, uh, the big, the biggest senior tournament in the country, starts uh, tomorrow over here um, in, in the California desert, Southern California, Palm Springs area, Palm Desert at the Shadow Mountain Resort. I'm scheduled to play some doubles tomorrow with my good friend, Rick Meyer. I'm playing down a couple of age groups in the 65s. That's going to be fun. Um, Ricky's a great player, um, and you may know the name from the last tournament he played. It was the 1985 U.S. Open. <laughs> He's pretty good. Anyway, um, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, But I'll be around this weekend and all of the next week if you want to come on over. And if we've not met, just come on over, say hi. Let's hang out and chat for a little bit. All right, guys, that's it. Again, get out there. Help someone else have a great day. Guys, see you again, hopefully this afternoon, uh, for some mindset training. See you then.